I'm going to be eating fried fish today and maybe some other fried seafood. I don't know exactly just yet. I'm in Prince George's County, Maryland right now uh, on the eastern side of the DMV. And in this part of the metropolitan area, there are a lot of seafood takeout shops. So I'm going to try a few of those. And the first place is right behind me. Well, I got my food from PG Seafood an order of fried trout. It's the fried trout platter or the fried trout dinner. It comes with uh, three pieces of fried trout and two sides. I got the collard greens and the hush puppies. I'm gonna dig into the fried trout now. Uh, you guys might be familiar with lake trout. It's famous in Baltimore and in the Baltimore area. This isn't lake trout. Uh, this is uh, just straight up trout, I guess. <laughs> it's always kind of uh, elongated like this and curly at the ends. Mm. The hallmark of this trout really is how flaky, delicate, and tender this meat is. I mean, it's really kind of airy and flaky and then ultra, ultra crispy with a kind of, you know, sandpapery, uh, rough, coarse exterior. This is excellent fried fish. Oh my God. I mean, you do get a side of tartar sauce, but I am not inclined to use the tartar sauce This fish is so good on its own in terms of the texture and the taste. I mean, it's not a fishy tasting fish. You, you don't get a fishiness about it. It has a very kind of delicate fish flavor. I mean, leaning toward the neutral side almost. And a slight saltiness from the seasoning that they use. So the overall effect is of a ultra crispy, delicate fried fish that I can't put down. <laughs> oh my God, so good. Okay, underneath the fish, I just peeled back a layer of wax paper, <laughs> lifted up the fish, and you get some bread underneath. It's just kind of ordinary white bread, kind of like sandwich bread. Uh, those of you not familiar with Hush Puppies, it's a basically a cornmeal batter uh, cornmeal batter ball is I guess that's what it is it's made out of cornmeal I think mmm wow very crispy and oh I don't know if you can see but there are little kernels of corn actual corn in there I can see how these would be addictive these things are ultra ultra crispy holy cow All right, let me dig into the collard greens. Whoa. Okay, I don't know how long they cook these collard greens for, but holy cow, they're soft. Wow. Okay, there's a slight saltiness about them. Maybe a, a tad briny in, the, in their flavor profile. Well, that's excellent. Those are some excellent collard greens. The texture is on point and the flavor is too. Mm. So I'm going to finish up this fried trout platter right now uh, and take you to the next place. I'm in Forestville now at the Penmar Shopping Center and uh, Capital Seafood. The next stop is in District Heights which is about one, two, maybe three miles at the most down the road. So come along, let's go. I 
I just got my food from the second spot, uh, Capital Seafood, and the weather conditions are deteriorating out here. It actually is raining and sleeting, hailing, and everything is coming down right now. I'm, I'm going to try to finish this video for you guys. Uh, I hope uh, I can make it before uh, the weather gets really bad and I have to run for my life. But uh, I got the special there and it's ridiculous, really, in terms of the price and the portion. You get two pieces of fish, six scallops, six shrimp, two sides, uh, the, the western fries or the potato wedges, and a side of coleslaw, all for, get this, <laughs> all for $8.99 uh, so uh, once I saw that uh, I knew that that was going to be my order because I wanted to try more fish and I didn't get the trout I got the whiting I mean look at this thing holy cow this is this is enormous look at this and it's all for $8.99 folks whoa, whoa one of the shrimp fell off oh one of the scallops I'm sorry Look at this thing. Holy moly, look at this. That is a quite substantial amount of uh, seafood. Uh, I don't know where to begin. It's, it's so it's so enormous. Oh, there's there's a side of bread too. It's it's wheat bread, not white bread like I had last time. Uh, let me just get what's on top. Uh, What's on top is the, is the, ooh, is the scallops. All right, as I'm looking at the scallops, yeah, I'm really confused by this, by this scallop. Let me dip it in the, uh, the accompanying tartar sauce here. What's throwing me off is the texture of it. It, it, it has the texture of kind of like mushy fish cake. <laughs> the, uh, the, the fish cake that you have like in Chinese cuisine. So I don't think this is like straight up uh, scallop. It tastes good. It's nice and crispy. It's not imitation crab meat like that, but it, it certainly doesn't have the muscular firmness that you would get from real scallops. So I don't know what this is. It's kind of like fish paste almost. Kind of like that. This is the shrimp. Whoa, it's confusing. I thought I was going to pick it up and, and then it's, it's a ring. It's a shrimp ring. It's not quite butterflied. I mean, I've never seen shrimp cut like this before. So it's like a shrimp that's been that's been cut in half, but not all the way. So it's still attached, battered and fried. So you have this kind of ring. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, there's some cocktail sauce here. I guess for the shrimp. So yeah, the shrimp, like the scallop I just ate, is very crispy. I mean, this is more crispy than the fish I had, I think. Very coarse on the outside, but the shrimp does benefit from the, the cocktail sauce. Mm. Interesting. Never had shrimp like that before. Oh. You get ketchup too to go with the big western fries. Wow, this thing this thing is big. Wow. That's a quite substantial fry. Wow. Very potatoey. Very starchy. Oh. That's a good western fry. Let me not forget about the coleslaw. You get a side of coleslaw. That's one of the sides in addition to the fries. Hmm. Oh. This is good. Hmm. 
what I like about the coleslaw is that it's wet, but not sopping wet. So it's kind of very lubricated with the mayonnaise sauce. And you don't have that kind of dry, crunchy feeling sometimes when you eat coleslaw. Hmm. Oh, I like the balance of the wetness and the, the crunch. This is a good coleslaw here. Mm. Let me make my way and try the fish. All right, I'm not going to dip the fish into anything yet. Mm. Yeah. This is good. This is fresh, flaky, but with a, a, a density to it that the trout doesn't have. Crisp as well. Though it's not as crispy as the fried trout earlier. But this is meatier than the trout. Wow, this is good. And in fact, the fried whiting is the best thing in this platter. I guess as it should be because the whiting is the, 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 the star of the show here. It, it got top billing. <laughs> So in terms of the taste, you taste the, the fish and the kind of slight saltiness of the exterior and you get the texture on your palate and that's the most prominent thing about eating this fish is the, the dense, firm, yet pliable white flesh of the, of the whiting. Well, I'm glad I passed through Prince George's County today and had this fried seafood because I hadn't had it in a while and it really hit the spot. Now in terms of... Uh, which one I liked better, uh, let's consider the main stars of the show. The trout from uh, PG Seafood and the fried whiting from uh, Capital Seafood. Um, wow, they were both really good. And they were good for different reasons. But in the final analysis, I would have to say I liked the fried trout better from PG Seafood. And the reason is because the flakiness and the crunch I really liked. Now, if you like a more dense kind of fish that's a little bit meatier, maybe a tad less crispy because of that density, then the whiting is for you. But uh, I really like the trout, the airy kind of flakiness about it and uh, the, the really crispiness of it. So uh, that was my winner for today. Uh, will I have other seafood adventures in the future, fried or otherwise? Uh, you can count on that because uh, there's more seafood to be had in the DMV and in Prince George's County. But until then, until I see you on my next adventure, on my next episode, take care. Bye-bye.